to me to jump, 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 jump. She doesn't come and visit the UK often enough. Aaliyah, welcome to the lit. Thank you for having me yeah. today. Not yeah. a problem. Blushing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna act like one of your fans now. Uh, one in a Million was the last album. Yeah. How many years ago was that? That yeah, was four years ago. It was a while ago. You're, you're starving your fans. What have you been doing since? Um, well, in between, I've done a couple soundtracks. Mm -hmm. um, I guest appeared on a few albums, like Missy's album, Genuine's album, Nas's album. And I did this movie, and now this soundtrack, Romeo well, Must Die. Now, I noticed on this Romeo Must Die soundtrack, there are four tracks from you. Yeah, three original songs yeah. and one bonus track. Now, is that a hint to the direction you're going into on your next album, or is that just to appease your fans? To give um, you I think it's a good gauge for where the, the album's going to go, but mm. Tim and I are like, we're pushing each other really hard, and I still have so much more to do, um, so there's no telling where the album could go, but it's coming, hopefully, end of the year. So, the movie, um, I don't think I'm ignorant, I can't remember you starring in in a film, <laughs> quite, you know, with quite a prominent role like this. So, um, how did you find the acting? And, and um, it was a lot of fun for me. It's something I've wanted, and it's been part of my plan since the beginning. But mm -hmm. music was just always first. So, um, to finally make the transition into acting was just—it was great. I was very happy. I'm actually, I just feel very blessed to be part of such a great project with a great cast, and for my first time to have such a great role. It's a—it's a big part. And uh, it's a good movie. This album, Run Must Die, is by far the best soundtrack this year, mm -hmm. anyway. And um, there seems to be a lot more effort. I saw Destiny's Child recently and I spoke about their track, mm -hmm. which I like on the album mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Did you actually, you're, you're executive producer, so. Yeah. So. What was the process in putting a soundtrack together? Um, well, I just helped in choosing the artists and picking the songs. I wanted Destiny's Child on the soundtrack, mm -hmm. I love them. And uh, just some of my favorite artists I wanted on the soundtrack. And we wanted it to be multicultural to match the film so um we put a lot into it it was something that um we wanted to make the whole project big and we knew before we shot the movie that we were going to put a lot into the soundtrack joel was involved it was a major major effort you do spend a lot of time thinking about your style and, and how important has that been in, in, the, in, in fact urban music in general style is the key thing now Everybody's coming out and got to have their own style, so you were there from day one. Yeah, well, image is important, I mean, to differentiate yourself from the rest of the pack. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I've been very blessed to have creative control over every aspect of my career, so what you see is me. Everything I do is my choice. Mm -hmm. So, um, I just stay true to myself and wear what I like, and if something is out there that's, that's cool, I'll take it and make it mine. So, I, I try my best to continue to be a trendsetter. I've been putting the eyeliner stuff under my eyes. <laughs> Have you tried the whole Egyptian makeup The whole thing, thing man. <laughs> <laughs> Timberland is, seems to be your soulmate in terms of production. Yes. You do most of your best work, nearly all your best work with Timberland. Yes. How is that relationship um, progressing? And, you know, Are You Somebody was, was, a, was a great track Thank as well. You. We're very close. We have a wonderful friendship outside of the work relationship, and um, we just click. And he knows me like the back of his hand, and I know him like the back of my hand. So it's like, I think that's why the work comes out so great. He knows that um, I'm going to try things that other people probably wouldn't try. I'm a risk taker, and I'm always for staying on the cutting edge. And he's an innovator, so if he has like the craziest, sickest track, he knows he can give it to me, and I'm going to go for it. So. We have a lot of fun together. It's a very tight knit family. Missy, Playa, Tim, and all of us. So. Yeah, you've you've collaborated with the whole family, mm -hmm. really. I mean, there's a lot of love shared out there. Oh yeah, we're tight. We're, we're, yeah. we're tight. And um, I mean, but with someone like Timberland, who is working with all these other um, artists, what about when it comes to your album? Does he have to schedule it 12 months in advance because you don't want to get to a situation where? Uh, you're phoning up, Tim, what's happening? I'm, I'm ready for my I'm, I'm busy. <laughs> you know, does that ever happen? I mean, is it like that? No, we make time for each other. What, what yeah. Tim is like when it's time for baby girl, that's it. Okay. Everything is put to the side and it's time for her. And the same with him. He can call me anytime I'm going to drop what I'm doing. And, and we just did a song before I came out here. He called me and I was there for him. So we're a priority for okay, each good. other, which is cool. But it's seven years you've been in this business now, more or less. Wow, well, yeah. Seven, well, seven years as recording artist. Right? Yeah. So. Uh, you're a real veteran at 21. <laughs> <laughs> you're a vet. So, um, 
I mean, the excitement of you and your first album was, was, was massive. I mean, the, the, your first track, your first hit. Back and forth, was that your Back and forth, was back your and first forth was the first single, yeah. Awesome record. Thank um, you. How much did it change your life? I mean, how, how, what a change of life for you. What, what happened? How did you find the industry and the business? Was it scary? It was um, intimidating at first, but it's something I've been around since I was a little girl. My family is an entertainment family, and um, so it was something I was always privy to, which helped. But of course, when you're out there and everything is on you, it's, it's something to get used to. So, um, But it was everything I expected it to be. I've always been an old soul, and very mature, and I've always pushed my parents for this. And this was always top priority. So I loved going out and traveling and working. And when I came home, I went to school. I went to parties. I had my sweet 16. I went to my proms. So I have those memories. And I make the time to just kick it and be young. And then when it's time to work, it's time to work. So I don't think I missed out on anything. What is going to be in the, the, the Aaliyah album for the year 2001, which is what your fans know that one? I'm not like. telling you. <laughs> <laughs> the album will be very upbeat, and there will be a few ballads. Um, it's going to be a hot album, but it's hard to say because I started it before we shot the movie, and um, had to put it on hold, and that was a year ago. So I've had a chance to listen to the things that I've done. I want to change a few things. I've got new ideas. So um, I don't really know exactly where it's going to where it's gonna go, but it'll definitely be some next stuff. Hope the fans so will hear. enjoy it. So ride with me, yeah. it's coming. So it's awesome. been lovely talking to you. Will you have me back when it's time? I think we will. I think we're one of your fans, definitely. We're, we inspire loyalty, you inspire loyalty, and it's been a pleasure.